ये एक पांच साल पुराना ग्राफिक कार्ड है एंड विद जस्ट सिंगल क्लिक वी आर एबल टू डबल एफ पी एस हाउ इज इट इवन डूइंग दैट क्या आपका जीपी भी सपोर्ट कर पाएगा एंड हाउ डू यू सेट इट अप लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो दे Before we talk benchmarks, let's clear out what we are actually testing here, because AMD's FSR3 is also bundled with a FMF, AMD's Fluid Motion Frames, and these two are quite different things. Like, quite. FSR3.0 focuses on texture scaling and smoothing, basically enhancing the visual quality of games with minimal impact on performance. While a FMF is a driver-level feature which actually generates new frames in your game. Now, FSR 3.0 needs to be supported by the game, but can work on any GPU. While AFMF will work on DX12 or 11 games, but these work only on 7000 series of AMD GPUs. So let's test these new GPUs that we got from ASRock. Thanks to them, we are able to test all of this. And honestly, the 7800 XT Phantom Gaming is a super card. It's quite solid, but a solid build here. सॉलिड तो है ही मतलब दिखे सॉलिड यू कैन सी एकदम टाइटली पैक्ड डेंस कॉपर हीट सिंक्स जिसके आपको कूलिंग जबरदस्त मिलेगी और उसमें आर जी तो भर भर के है बट हियर इज द बेस्ट पार्ट इसका एंटी सैक ब्रैकेट यू डोंट इवन नीड टू एड द डंडी वाला सपोर्ट बस वो लगा लो एंड यू आर डन ओके कमिंग टू द परफॉर्मेंस एफ एस आर थ्री एंड एफ एम एफ is delivering exactly what is promised 1.5x yani ki 1.5 guna performance improvement in fsr 3 quality mode and double increase with fluid motion frames and this is across multiple titles starfield cyberpunk hogwarts legacy sare games mein you can see a clear doubling of the fps but these games actually official support nahi karte like officially it's not there yet but in case you didn't know fluid motion frames right now is only supported in immortals of avm and for spoken of but ye games ke liye you can enable it as a beta option in amd's adrenaline software thank you amd although you will notice a drop in the fps when moving your camera super fast and other fast paced actions for any of these beta games now coming to older gpus you can see that even these gpus are getting good bumps in their performance although frame gen enable karne se we saw a drop the fps did increase we saw a big bump over there but uske sath sath frame latency bhi thoda increase ho gaya it went above 2 seconds in certain cases which makes this almost unplayable i think it's clear why they kept frame gen support exclusively for 7000 series cards only but that's all we have for fsr3 and it's honestly really good and amazing to see such features and competition is always good for us maza aata hai it forces everyone in the ecosystem to do better so if you're looking for an amd based pc or any pc for that matter you can get in touch with us we can ship custom pcs all across india with stores in gurgaon bangalore and hyderabad see you in the next one thanks so